All right, so we are talking data orchestration again in Domo. And we, I'm bringing us back to this flowchart real quick because we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you an example of how to do this first part where we have data in a source system that gets loaded into Snowflake. And we'd like to have Domo know exactly when the table gets updated to then bring it back into Domo, right? And so I talked about this before where, you know, for the most part, we're, we're used to having connectors that are cron job connectors that run every 15 minutes or every hour. That's actually very inefficient for both Domo and also the, the source system of the data, right? For Snowflake, for example, you're, you're wasting compute credits if you just trigger uh, every hour, right? So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And so in this example, um, I'm starting off with Salesforce data that I'm pulling into Snowflake onto this opportunity table. And I'm using Fivetran, which is this integration service, right? It takes data from Salesforce and using CDC puts it into Snowflake only when data changes. So that's also really helpful. I'm also using Make as an intermediary integration service. And then I am creating a table here. That's my opportunities here in Domo for end, for like end user consumption. And so walking through this real quick, the, the couple of considerations is, the first thing is coming over here to um, Postman real quick. This is the Fivetrain API where, I think I mentioned this before, but Fivetrain has an ability where as soon as a sync ends, and a sync is like a connector for them, it can trigger off a webhook to a destination URL. And so in this case, I provided a destination URL for my make account, and that's gonna trigger the start of this make um, automation. And all this automation is doing is as soon as webhook comes in, it's going to fire off the Domo Streams API to update the connector. And it's passing the developer token as well as a couple other required headers. And then what the end product is that where if we come in here, and go to scheduling. Right now I have it manual because I want to show how, kind of prove how this is a trigger-based connector. It's not being refreshed at all. And so if the API doesn't do anything, this this connector will just sit here, right? That's that's kind of the point. Um, and so I'm going to go through this real quick. So let's go, uh, like I said, Fivetrain is only syncing over new stuff or stuff that's changed. So let's create a new deal real quick and let's give it a close date. And let's say we want it test deal and let's save that real quick. Cool. So now that data has changed, Fivetran usually runs on a schedule or it can also be trigger based. And so in this case, I'm just gonna do a manual sync for this example. And so now we're gonna start a resync. And now what's gonna happen is if we come over here to Snowflake, we can see right now we have 35 rows, but once the sync has been completed, we're gonna see 36 rows. And so this might just take a minute. So I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna wait a second. Awesome. So I just waited a second. And if I come back here and refresh my Snowflake account, we can see that now we have 36 rows in uh, Snowflake, which is awesome. Now, if this wasn't trigger based, this would sit here in our Snowflake account and wouldn't go over to Domo until the next job happens, right? Maybe that's tomorrow. Maybe that's an hour from now. But because it's trigger based, if I come here and refresh, we can see that this connector is going to go off here pretty soon. Or maybe, it are, yeah, right. So it just went off. And we can see we now have 36 rows. So if I come to history as evidence, 35 up to 36, right? So in this case, the update happened from the API. You know, I'm not, you know, no, no, no magic here, no funny business. Like we're just, this is being manually updated. And so that's kind of an example of a trigger-based connector. To finish, I just want to highlight the importance of why we're doing this, right? Why is this important? Um, I talked about before, I've worked on a couple projects where um, I had no idea when a Snowflake table was updating. And so for me, timeliness of data is just as important for dashboards, right? I want data to be as new as possible to help, um, to help, you know, instigate action. And so in this case, this trigger based connector helped me accomplish that, right? Instead of trying to guess every three hours, taking up Snowflake compute credits, we had a system where it was only coming, it was only checking and only triggering the Domo connector when that Snowflake data came in. And so I think there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of systems that have these webhook integrations. And then there's also um, services such as Apache Airflow that orchestrate your data in this manner. So hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks.